Thoughts on tonight? Um, just think we should have came out more aggressive. Um, obviously, just got to learn from this one. First one of the season. It's a long season, so just got to learn from it. And I think I could be way more aggressive knowing that teams know that I could pass now. So um, got to look for, look for the attack, uh, try to get in the paint a little bit more. So. And about your, your play yourself, how do you feel? I mean, obviously you struggled early. Yeah. Did, did the magnitude of the situation get to you at all, or did they're nah. more aggressive than you expected, or what? Nah, I didn't. I didn't. That was the biggest thing, you know, for me myself. You know, at that time, at that point, it was it was a it was a mind game for me, um, knowing that I know I got a lot, a lot to learn, mm -hmm. and knowing that uh, age don't matter, but you're knowing that not what I'm capable of, and um, who I could, you know, just learn from it, like I said. Like, like you said, I was struggling at one point. I did it. And, you know, I just always thought next play. You know, next play mentality. Try to get back on defense. Overall, was this about what you expected? Um, overall, yeah. You know, good crowd. Playing against, you know, um, check-in to kind of team. Um, Player-wise, my bad. And, uh, yeah, it was a little bit more than I expected. Did you get a chance to shoot everything? Yeah, I started to get my, get my groove a little bit, um, although it was a little later in the game. but. Um, like you said, the, the biggest thing was for me to go out there and feel like myself. And I feel like I'm going to the next game. Uh, I'm going to learn a lot from this, this first game. And I'm going to come out and try to do what Coach wants me to do. And that's instead of passing, play, play, but I guess I'm going to What specifically are you going to take from this to take to the next game? Uh, like I said earlier, um, knowing that teams know that I can pass, um, knowing that teams know that I, yeah, I can. Uh, contribute the ball really well and, and they just sit there and wait rather than me um, going up, you know. Um, although it, sometimes it, it might be, you know, make a pass, make a pass or whatever. Um, I think I've learned a lot from this. Excuse me. What are you anxious to see on the film? What will you look for? Um, my turnovers. I'm, I'm very anxious to see how, how I turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it was more of, you know, tough passes. Sometimes it was miscommunication. Um, I'm just ready to watch it. You had kind of your whole life look ahead to the moment of, of playing the game mm -hmm. the first time. One, what's it like to now be on the other side of that, knowing you're never going to look? You know, you, you, you've done that now. Yeah. And then two, was there anything about the actual experience that surprised you? As prepared as you have been, yeah. is there anything about the actual experience that surprised you? Um, I don't think anything, anything surprised me, rather than like, seems to like got real kind of reports on the play. And knowing that I'm gonna be one of the players that, that they try to focus in and try to stop. And even with the team that we have, DA and um, JD, everybody's safe. So, um, yeah. Just here's a couple more. Yeah. Look, the point you made about one of the more for us, what do you think is the key to unlocking that? So, you're doing it. You're doing it. Uh, knowing that nobody can guard me. Knowing that nobody can guard me when I get downhill, uh, when I'm playing my game. Rather than playing into the defensive end, uh, doing what I want to do, rather than letting the defense kind of navigate how I come off the screen, whether I, you know, go fast or slow down. You got nine points out of your 11 and a fourth. Um, what are some things that you liked out of that? And then Aiden said that you were really positive, you know, encouraging him. What are some things you take um, from those two elements too, as well, you know, being a team and the setups and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, like you said, the nine point the, at the at the end. At that point, it was just like go we'll out there and just try to get that comfort. Um, knowing that I had great shots in the beginning, um, and obviously not all gonna fall, but knowing that I could go back to the gym and work on certain things, and knowing the shots I'm gonna get in game. And I think that's just who I am uh, as, a, as a player, as a point guard. It's encouraging, you know, players and everybody. Um, that's that's kind of what I have to be. Uh, that's who I. I've been cool here this last two with you as well. How does that help you? I mean, you had a lot of bets too with your kid at Ignite. How do you feel like that's helped you in terms of being in that leadership role right now too as well? Um, cool is talking. So um, just being around him every day kind of brings it out of me. You know, like, like I said, last two years with Ignite. Who was there and he, he kind of brought that out of me. So I don't know what he was going to do for, for my development as a, as a person. 
at most than uh, everybody else. You know, Tom, Scotty, Mal, um, just always make sure I'm, I'm doing right and start. And so, Tom, said said it would be an emotional game for you, especially going up against Russell Westbrook. Just what was that experience like? With, you know, you got some explosive dunks early. Just what was that whole game like? This game? Uh, it was cool. You know, I think as a team, um, you know, we wanted to get back in transition. Uh, he did have a couple of times where he got up and then transition and he was able to make a play. But, um, you know, it was an experience. It was an experience for sure. Uh, just to play my first game. You know, not the fact that it was one of the plays that I always watched growing up, but, um, like, I'm here now, so we can't really look too much into that, too deep into that. All right, you guys, they all. Not really. Before the game,